गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इज द टेबल कंटेंट इज वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद प्रैक्टिकल स्लिप्स यूनिवर्सिटी प्रैक्टिकल स्लिप एंड टूडे वी आर एक्सिक्यूटिंग प्रैक्टिकल स्लिप नंबर थ्री ओके आई विल जस्ट शो यू द क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द क्वेश्चन अबाउट द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट वी हैव टू राइट द पी एच पी स्क्रिप्ट वी हैव टू डिजाइन अ फॉर्म विच विल एक्सेप्ट टू नंबर फ्रॉम द यूजर ओके वी हैव टू गिव एरेथमेटिक ऑपरेशन थ्रू रेडियो बटन एंड we have to display the result on the next form and we have to use required statement okay so this is the question of php slip number 3 we will execute today this question okay i have made a just a rough diagram what is the question about okay the question is about we have to take two numbers through text box we have four radio buttons that is my arithmetic operation addition subtraction multiplication division and we have two button that is Okay and cancel. So I have already started with the services of Zam. Directly we'll start with your HTML page. I have given the file name as slip three dot HTML. I will start with my HTML page. I started with HTML. I start with head. In head we have title. I will give title as slip three. I close my title. I close my head, and I start with my body. Okay, in body, I take my form. We have action. Action. I give as the three dot php. Still, we have to write code for slip three dot php. Just I have given action as slip three dot php, and method I take as post okay now we have to take two text box so i take enter number 1 i take input i equal to text i take name equal to a and i put this required statement okay and here i give one br tag again i take my number 2 enter enter number 2 again i take my input tag input type equal to text a name i take for example b and i put required statement again a new line tag that is my br okay now we have to perform operations so i just give the heading as operation i take a new line tag okay now we have we want to take we have to take four radio buttons i take input type equal to radio we have three attributes that is id id for example i take one name i take as c and value again i take for example 1 and this is my addition and this is my new line tag i copy this Okay, this is my second one. I take ID as two, name as C, value as two, and this is my subtraction. This is my subtraction. Here again, I paste this. This is ID three, name is C, value is three, and this is my multiplication. This is my fourth one. My ID is four. Name is C. Value is four, and this is your last one. That is division. Okay, this is your division, and again I will put one VR tag. And we have one two buttons. I take two buttons. Input type equal to submit. I take value as 
Okay. Again, one more button and put I equal to reset nitrate value equal to and okay. I close my form. I close my body and this is my closing of my HTML form. I save my program. Let's see how my page look like. I go to my browser. Okay. HTTP colon. Look at those slash my folder name is form slash my file name is the three dot html and i press enter okay so this is your page it will look like this okay two numbers we have taken two numbers we have four operations and two buttons okay you can give background color to this if you want i will just give as bg color equal to yellow i save my program I go to my browser and I will just reload my page. So this is your yellow color background. Now we have to write PHP page. I've already created the file slip3.php. Now we will start writing code for this. I've started with my PHP tag. Okay. I take one variable, for example, n1 equal to this is my global global declaration for my post method. We have taken post. Okay, now this is your text box one name okay we have taken text box one name as a so this is your calling of text box one this is your second variable n2 equal to dollar underscore post this is your text box second calling that is b we have taken an html as b for text box two okay Third one, I will take dollar ch equal to dollar underscore post. This is for your radio button. We have taken name as C for radio button. We have taken name as C for radio button. Okay, now we have four operations and we have we have to check one at a time. Okay, radio button selects only one at a time. So for that we have to use if condition if else. Okay, in if condition, I write if my dollar ch equal to equal to one. Now this one is nothing but my addition. Okay, we have given value of addition as one. I will just show you in HTML page. Okay, one. This is my addition. If my ch is one, that is, if my choice is selected of radio button as one, then my addition. We have to perform the operation of addition. I open my curly brackets. Okay, I take one more variable to hold the value. For example, dollar c equal to dollar n1 plus dollar n2 ending with semicolon and in echo. I just type as addition is dollar c ending with semicolon. Okay, now second else if else if it's my dollar ch equal to equal to two two is nothing but my subtraction okay. two is my subtraction i will show you in my html page okay value of two is my subtraction i just copy this dollar c equal to dollar and one minus dollar and two ending with semicolon and equal subtraction this dollar c ending with semicolon again next look else if this is my third ch equal to equal to three three is nothing but my multiplication okay so dollar c equal to dollar n1 multiply by dollar n2 ending with semicolon in equal i will just give as multi 
application as dollar c ending with semicolon and this is your last one else if dollar ch equal to equal to four that is my division i open my curly brackets dollar c equal to dollar n1 divided by dollar n2 ending with semicolon and in eco i just give as division as dollar c ending with semicolon and this is my closing of my php tag i save my program i will go to my browser and we will just reload the page i have taken first number as 40 second number as 20 and i click on addition okay so addition is 60 so my output is correct i take subtraction output is 20 it is correct i take multiplication output is 800 it is correct i take division it is true it is correct okay just we will check the required statement i put 30 23 and i click on addition i click ok okay so it is giving me validation for required statement we have to give required statement okay similarly i get 45 i press ok it is giving Again, I reload my page. We have to give required for radio button also. I just type here required for all the radio buttons. I save my program. I go to my browser. I reload my page. I give the value and I don't give the radio button operation selection. I press OK, so it is giving me required one. So this is your execution. This is your execution output of slip number three. Thank you, students.